Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. Uh, I want to talk about an aerial that I'm putting up. I'm trying to get it a half wave long on top band. Now that's what, 260 something feet, 262, 264 feet, half wave on top band at 160 meters. That is a long bit of wire. The reason I want it half wave length long is, well, first of all, it's ideal. It's the best type of aerial, half wave. Secondly, it will be voltage fed. I'll show you all this on the blackboard in a minute. I want it voltage fed because a lot of the wire, about what, 50 odd feet of the wire, is between the two houses, an alleyway between the two houses. I'll show you on the blackboard. I don't particularly want that bit radiating too much. I want the wire that's out in the open, down the garden. I want that bit radiating. If it's a quarter wave long, then it will be current fed, maximum current in here at the transmitter end. I've got the ATU. There's a picture of the ATU set up with the current meter, the RF current meter on top. So the wire goes from the, the setup there, the, the meter, out of the window and down the alleyway. OK, I don't want to bring the wire in here. There's about six inches of wire that actually comes into the room. I don't want the, the aerial in here radiating all over the place if I can help it. That's why I've got the ATU and the RF ammeter stuck on the windowsill over there. Right, so I want it half, half uh, wavelength long, so it's voltage fed. So all the current is out in the open down the garden. Let's have a look at the blackboard before I ramble on any more. Right, so here we go. This is a half wave piece of wire, aerial. It's a half wave on the frequency we are using, okay? If you change frequency, this won't be a half wave anymore. So the important thing is the current distribution. Let's say this is a dipole, okay? What we're going to do is feed it in the middle. No, up in a coax. There's our dipole. The current is maximum in the middle and minimum at the ends. So it's like this. Okay? The maximum current part is the maximum radiating part to get our, our RF signal out. Many people have said, let's say this is the inner of the coax here, and that's the outer. That's the outer, that's the inner. Now an old G3 friend of mine said, that bit, you know, you can stuff it around the back of the house, wherever, stuff it down the alleyway. That that bit doesn't matter. Get, get rid of that, round the, wrap it around the chimney, do what you like with it. Well, that's daft because you've, you've cut off half your current. You've got to have this bit. You've got to have the whole thing out in the open. Just because the outer of the coax goes here, it doesn't mean to say this half doesn't do anything. You can see it does. There's the current distribution, the whole thing. Of course it does something. There's no point having it there if it doesn't do anything. OK, so that's one myth. And this is don't message me and say, oh, that's wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. This isn't me saying this. This is just a fact. Look it up anywhere on the Internet. It's a fact. OK, the current distribution is like that. The voltage, I'll draw the voltage. There we are. There's the voltage. This is a half wave dipole. Maximum voltage at each end. OK, minimum voltage in the middle. There's the current. This is the current. This is the bit we're talking about. This does the transmitting. This is the voltage. This is why they say if your dipole isn't long enough, you can drop the ends down because they don't radiate much. This is all voltage at the end. Now, another thing. Transmitter. OK, aerial. If it's a quarter wave, you'll have maximum current here. Maximum current going down to no current, all right? If it's a half wave and you feed it here, it doesn't matter where you feed it, same as the dipole, maximum current in the middle. doesn't matter where you feed it. This is the same bit of wire wherever you feed it. It's a half wavelength on the frequency we're using. I just want to butt in here, interrupt myself. Can I do that, interrupt myself? Yes, I just have. A bit of wire, is, that is the aerial, that is the bit of wire, that is the aerial. It doesn't matter whether you feed it in the middle, or here, or here. That is whatever length it is. Let's say it's a half wave. It's a half wave. You won't change the current distribution or anything 
by feeding it in different places. What you will do is change the feed impedance. If you feed it, if it's a quarter wavelength long, it's current fed, the impedance will be low. So if it's a quarter wave, it'll be low impedance. If it's voltage fed, right, it's half wavelength and you're feeding it at the end, the impedance will be very high. Okay, now just to differentiate between feeding it in the middle and feeding it at the end. In the middle, like a dipole, is maximum current, isn't it? So it's low impedance and it'll match your 50 ohm coax, just about. Half wave dipole, coax, 50 ohm coax, it'll just about match it. I think the, I think it's actually 72 ohms or something. Okay, so you can feed a dipole directly with 50 ohm coax. In the center, if you feed the end, right, you can't use coax on the end because coax is 50 ohms, isn't it? And at the end here, it could be 5,000 ohms. It's voltage fed, very high impedance. That's why people usually feed a half wave aerial in the middle. They cut it, make it into a dipole, di meaning two, obviously, and should be a bi bipole, shouldn't it, too? <laughs> anyway, feed it in the middle. You see what I mean? I'm feeding this one at the end. I can't get to the middle of it because it's all over the place. Not only is it in my back garden, it goes over other people's property. Well, no, it, down the alleyway, behind all the houses. It's a stealth area. I'm hiding it. OK, so I'm talking now about feeding it from the end. All right, let's get back to the blackboard. OK, half wavelength on the frequency we are using. There's the current. No current at the end. This is where we're feeding it. OK, this is the voltage. High voltage. That this is called voltage fed, okay? Because it's all voltage, no current. Voltage fed, all right? That's a half wave. This is now a quarter wave long. That's the frequency we're using, okay? The current is like that. Minimum current at the end. The voltage is like that. High voltage at the end, no voltage here. High current, it's current fed, okay? It's current fed. Bear in mind, when you're feeding this at the end, this is a quarter wave now, when you're feeding this here, this is the transmitter or your aerial tuning unit, you will need an earth. All right, you've got to have an earth. What happens, let me just show you briefly what happens. Transmitter producing RF. Aerial, whatever length, halfway, quarter wave, whatever. We're, we're, we're matching it, okay, we'll say it's matched. Right, you're producing voltage and current here. Where's it go? To have current flowing, you have to have a circuit. This is the ground. This is your garden, right? There's your earth. We now, you're saying, well, where's the circuit? This is the circuit. This is the aerial connection on the transmitter or the ATU. Let's say the transmitter's here. This is your tuning unit, matching unit, I should say. That, that goes down to your earth system here, under your lawn or whatever you've got. This is the aerial connection to here, insulated on a pole. This here is capacitance. There's a certain capacitance between the aerial and the ground. That is the circuit. Can you see that? Look, that's the circuit. Transmitter, capacitor, ground, back. The aerial is the, if you like, the aerial is the inductor. That's the capacitance. And back again. That is the circuit. That is how current flows. Now, again, an old G3 once, he had a right go at me on 80 metres when we were having a chat. I said to him, if I put an RF ammeter in there, right, my RF ammeter, it reads, let's just say one amp, one amp RF. And I said, if I put my same meter... I take it out of there and I stick it in the earth connection. It reads one amp, RF amps, one amp. He said, what are you talking about? You're heating up the worms in the garden. You shouldn't have any current here in your earth. Well, the bloke's obviously an idiot. Of course you should. It's a circuit. You can't have current in that bit of circuit and not that bit. Battery, right? Light bulb current flows there's your light bulb 
if you take that half away, well, a bulb isn't going to light, is there? There's no current flow. You've taken the earth section. Well, this is the aerial, I say. This is the aerial. Well, nothing's going to go in it. There's no... Yeah, you've got to have that, obviously. I do wonder sometimes that some of these old boys, when I was... Well, I won't go back to when I was a boy, but I used to listen to them. The majority, to be honest, 99% of them were brilliant. They knew exactly what they were doing. But one or two, they get some strange idea in their head about all this. And then talk, what's the word beginning with, uh, oh yeah, talk rubbish. Now I'm trying to make this top band aerial. What it look? These are houses. This is the alleyway, okay? There's the gardens. This is the road. Right, what I'm doing, I'm taking a wire out of my shack window upstairs here. I'm running it down the alleyway like that right this is my transmitter here if i run that down between in between the houses in fact that's against my house which i've got to get it away a little bit if i can it's running against the house it's out in the open here you know this is quite a length here against the house i don't really want this part radiating do i it would be best if that bit didn't radiate much at all and we want it to start radiating when it's out in the open so what's the best thing to do? So ideally, I want this aerial wire to be half wave. Because if it's half wave, the minimum current is here. The current starts building up, as I showed you, look like that. There's the half wave. This is the bit here in the alleyway, we'll say. Minimum current in the alleyway here. Current starts getting really good here as we go out into the garden. Can you see that? That's my neighbour's house. Let's take his house away. That won't please him. Upstairs, front window. My wire comes out, down the alleyway, into the garden. If it's half wave, maximum current's going to be here somewhere. Not here. That's the point. Not here. That's what I'm trying to do. That's why I don't want to use a quarter wave. If I use a quarter wave, I've got all the current here. And as we go down into the garden, less current. Now I'm trying not to bore you because I had one chap comment on one of my videos. He said, oh, it was seven minutes, 45 seconds before he started talking about the aerial. I, I have to try and do, it's not an introduction. You know, look at me, I'm Ray and tell you my life story. I'm trying to, at the beginning of the videos, I'm trying to set the scene, if you like. This is what it's about. This is what I'm trying to do. Uh, and however it was moaned because it was seven minutes before I actually got the blackboard out or something. If you say, if you haven't got time to listen to me, bye, go away now. If you have got a bit of spare time, hang on, okay? So that's what I'm trying to do. Now my garden isn't long enough for a half wave on the 160 meter amateur band. Half wave, 160 meters, isn't it? The amateur band. So half of 160 is 80. The halfway area needs to be 80 metres long. Now what I'm going to do is run it down the garden. I've done that bit. And then along the alleyway behind the houses. Okay, down there. The neighbours love me. They see me out there with bits of wire. They just look out. Oh, it's him. It's right. It's balmy. That's right. And they even come out and help. Do you want a hand, Ray? What are you doing? Oh, well, I want that wire up that tree. Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. I'll get my ladder. They're great. Lovely neighbours. So that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't matter if you dog leg the thing like that so it's going to go down the alleyway down the garden and then down there behind the houses this is the the plan view okay <laughs> no, it's, it's easy it's the plan turned up that way if you can't now obviously you can't all do this you're going to have a shorter aerial and it might be current fed you might have all the current at the the shack end of the wire you know it doesn't matter get as much wire out there as you can if it does all this and stuff it doesn't matter that's what the old boys used to say on top band get as much wire out there as you can doesn't matter where it goes well within reason you don't want to do it like that you know that far apart up and down up and down the garden because it'll all cancel out i did zigzag it once down the garden back to the house and down the garden the zigzag two parallel bits were about 20 feet apart and it didn't have much of an effect it didn't cancel out much not as far as i could tell anyway it was really good. If, right, but briefly, before you go up the pub, just hear me out a little bit longer. 
a coax fed half wave dipole will only work on the frequency the dipole is cut for if you've cut it for 80 meters all right it's going to be a half wave it's going to be 40 meters long you can feed it in the center with 50 ohm coax you can't then use that on other bands you know, that is an 80 meter band dipole only if you feed that same length of wire whatever you've got at the end you could use it anywhere with a decent ATU at the end all right that's why a lot of people just chuck a wire out as I'm doing with this I'm trying to get at least 200 feet out there they chuck it out wherever they can high as possible round here over that tree up there down there and they've got the end coming in the window as I have uh, with your ATU there you can use it on any old frequency use it on medium wave if you fancy a bit of pirating <laughs> and I don't I didn't say that you can use it wherever you like on HF with a coax, coax fed dipole you can't do that okay I think that's it I hope that's given you some idea of what's going on I think it's nice to know what's going on in the bit of wire when you're putting it up if you're making an aerial as I am for top band it's nice to know where the maximum current is going to be because that's the maximum transmitting Magnus Magnuson now that's the the waves go out the radio waves go out where the, the current is not the voltage that's why if your gardens say 10 feet short for a certain dipole that you are half wave dipole the last five feet each end you could just run down because they don't radiate much they're all voltage make sure no one can touch it though because you can get a nasty burn off the ends just before I let you go the reason I've got that homebrew RF ammeter on the top it's not calibrated I don't care what the current is the reason is I want minimum current okay the more wire I might add a bit of wire I might sneak out one night when the neighbors are in bed with my torch and add another 20 feet of wire to the the aerial and I can watch the current should go down all right the longer I get or the closer I get to a half wave the current will go down here because it's voltage fed right in theory if it is a half wave the current here will be zero voltage will be maximum it's just for for reference okay as I say it's not calibrated if you look at my website g4nsj.co.uk uh, you can see the construction details it's dead simple you can build it in 10 minutes well an hour perhaps <laughs> it took me about a week I kept getting interrupted and doing other things anyway yeah that's the reason you've got the SWR meter to get the ATU working to match the wire properly minimum SWR and the current meter is as I say so I know where I'm getting closer to zero current but because I can't go measuring stuff up the alleyway I'm just going to add bits of wire where I can and when I can and the closer I get to zero current the better right that's it off up the pub now take care thanks for watching see you next time Bye-bye for now.